<laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to another episode on the Relationship Goals series. I'm Chi Chi for those of you tuning in for the first time, and this is my boyfriend. Ade. Ade. Ah, oh, great. All right, so today we are bringing you an episode on how we met. I'm sure you guys are so curious to find out how we met and what that story looked like. So here's the episode. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Sibanga. Got me dips. You beautiful African girl. There's no one like you all over the world. You're the only one that might see. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in again, honoring us with your presence and joining us on this journey to our relationship goals. So we're gonna talk about how we met. You wanna go first? How about you go first? Oh my god. I'm always doing this. Um, okay, fine. So you say ladies first, right? That's yes, the way the world yes, works. It is the way so, the world works. Let's let's do that. Yeah. All right. So um, how we met? So we really met like two years ago. Well, is it three two years, years now, ago? Right? Three years now. Yeah. Dang, we're in 2021 already. I know. So, All right. So three years ago was when we met. Um, and we met at one of my best friend's fiance's uh, surprise birthday party. Um, it was a game night. We were playing some game, Hitler. Secret Hitler. Se- Secret Hitler is what the game was called. Sorry, guys. Um, so it's a really good game. You should try it if you haven't played it. <laughs> it didn't really cut you off. You might meet somebody special. Just say You just might. Just play it. Anyway, so we're playing this game. In the game, he is a bad guy, right? And I am one of the good guys, and we're supposed to be kind of sourcing out and figuring out who is the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I, you know, when I think about it today, I don't even know why I was so honed in on him being the bad guy. I was literally picking on him the whole game. You're the bad guy, you're the bad guy, you're the bad guy. And how were you kind of feeling with that interaction so it was very it was a very interesting interaction i mean of course you know i was i was obviously the bad guy in the game but the goal is uh so they're they're the fascists and then you have the liberals so the goal is to uh, make sure that fascism wins at the end of the day so you're split up into groups right and someone is sort of anointed secret hitler um and so the liberals the goal is of of course win and so basically we're supposed to act like we are for our pro-liberal ideas up until we get to a point where we actually you know make hitler chancellor and then you know how history goes right but she already knew for some reason even though nobody else could figure it out that i was you know for some reason that whole night i kept being you know i kept pulling the fascist card and i and but you know I'm, I'm a pretty nice person, so I was able to sell the idea that I was a liberal, and we won most of the time. So I think that's for some, for some reason she was calling me out and, and constantly trying to get me, you know, called out, and people started asking me questions. And, you yeah. know, sometimes people were able to be like, oh, yes, yeah, she's right, she's right. And so that's how it kind of went. And, you know, for some reason, that's how, you know, we just kind of clicked that day. Yeah, it was just like back and forth banter, you know, yeah. jokey banter. And then um, by this time I was married, so it wasn't like in any way trying to like, you know, get him or anything like that. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't in the market for anything. So it was just playful banter. Um, very, but then very for playful. him, <laughs> and then for him, at the end of the night, what was kind of like what happened for you? I mean, the, it was it was a great great it was a great night. You know, I was hang the she was talking about the person's uh, surprise party. That was my my best friend Michael. Yeah, right. He it was his birthday party. Yeah. Um, and it was just a fun night. You know, we had a whole bunch of people together hanging out. There was nothing to it. You know, nobody was trying to flex or anything like that. It was just chilling, right? And it was a very ordinary night. You know, you know. Sometimes we get this idea that it has to be something wow, majestic. You got to be doing something great to meet somebody great. No, no, it could just be a game night, right? She's trying to tell me to move on. I'm trying to understand. <laughs> you told me to. We've been talking about this game night. You had, okay. you had your chance to talk. I'm talking now. <laughs> okay, go ahead. But babe. yeah, that's about it. You know, I go ahead. No, I'm saying it so might be you, an ordinary night. You. So what happened at the end of the night? You talked well, to Mike. Well, I, so, I, you know, after the whole interaction, you know, uh, 
obviously, you know, it was, it was, you could tell that, you know, there was something going on there, right? You could tell there was some kind of, some kind of connection. Um, but, you know, so I talked to Michael and I was like, hey, um, you know, who is this person? Because I've never met her before. I didn't know about her. And he was like, oh, that is, you know, so-and-so. Ugochi, that's, that's, he's, I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And he was like, oh, I'm like, so what's up with her? He's like, oh, she's married. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> um, end of story. End of story. That was it at that time. So, um, of course, you know, he didn't ask anything more. Two years went by. I was still married. I got divorced. Um, I think during the process of me continuing to, to be married, we had seen each other at different events relating to our best friends uh, because, you know, his best friend is my best friend's fiance. So, of course, we were rolling in the same circles, but I thought nothing of him or like, you know, I wasn't really there. So then two years. <laughs> so then um, later after my divorce, um, my best friend. Oh, it was my 30th birthday. My sisters had thrown me a 30th birthday celebration. It was, lit. It was a surprise birthday celebration in my house. And so this is me kind of getting the backstory for my best friend. Not the one that's his that isn't Geisha's best, but my other best friend. She was kind of telling me, oh, there was this guy there that showed up earlier than pretty much everybody and was helping to set up, you know? But what really had happened was um, my best friend, Fumi, the one that's engaged to his best friend, um, she had invited him to my surprise birthday. And he just happened to show up. You showed up early? Yeah, I just showed up early. Right? He just showed up really early. Yeah. I was decorating and stuff and they met him here and you know we had the whole celebration and then afterwards he you asked mike right you asked mike about <laughs> yeah. me again yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i mean so i think it's, it's oh what did you say yeah what pretty happened? much you know i think that you know like she said <laughs> they had a birthday party i was here early i like to show up on time uh, <laughs> he was here real early so, and was helping out with the decorations helping out with decorations you know i, I like to you know make i like to help so um yeah, a whole lot of people were showing up, you know, everybody was coming in, you know, um, so th the surprise time comes, right? You know, everything's together, you know how it goes, and the person who's, you know, the, the, the celebrant shows up. So she comes in with her sisters, and she's like, oh, wow, she was, she was, she was genuinely surprised, right? She almost freaked out. She was like, ah, she was about to run out the door, but she's a whole bunch of people in her house. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, usually if someone has a birthday party, their significant other is usually there or you know mm -hmm. coming in with them or something like that mm -hmm. um but you know she comes in by herself so i'm like maybe you know whoever she's with or her husband at the time uh ex-husband now you know was uh you know maybe he's at work or something right you, you know you can't really make it but he's going to be here in the evening or something like that or join the festivities later but you know the whole thing goes on the party and the celebration goes on i'm like where is this person <laughs> you know i've always been, i'm like you know it's interesting i'm like where is this person and so I, somehow um, Mike and I just, go, we go downstairs. Everybody else is like, you know, on the ground floor as part. And we just, you know, went down to the, to the basement because we hadn't seen each other in a while. Um, so we're just talking, you know, he was like, well, you know. So I was like, dude, where is the... <laughs> <laughs> where is her husband? Right. Why are you not here? Right, you know, I'm like, where is this person? You know, and uh, he was like, oh, you didn't know? I was like, no, what? <laughs> so he basically started telling me about this person. And surprisingly, I know this person, but I never knew they were married. I, ne I, I knew this person was married. I knew she was married, but I never knew they were married to each other at the time. So, and then I, I, know him, I, know, I knew him through my, my best friend. And it was sort of like acquaintances or here, hi, there kind, kind of thing. Um, but I'm like, what? How? Why? So he goes on to tell me the whole story. And I was like, oh, that's very interesting. So I was just, you know, and she tells me that I, she's so surprised that I didn't even know about this because apparently I live under a rock. Yes, he does. Um, he really does. I like to mind my own business. So, yeah, 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 that was news to me, honestly. It was news. I was, you know, just processing the whole thing the whole, the whole time I was, I was there throughout yeah. the night and when we went up. Yeah. So that was one of our first encounters since my divorce. And, you know, I didn't, I wasn't, even that night, I wasn't like, I just was not in a space after my divorce i was not in a space where i wanted to date somebody 
I literally swore off men. I was kind of like in a place where I didn't want any serious relationship. Like I basically didn't really want anything to do with men. I just wanted to focus on myself. I wanted to work in pur walk in purpose. And that was literally my focus. I had reached a point, you know, the 10 months prior to meeting him, I was really, you know, going through the healing process i had been in therapy i was really working on myself and then you know hit the place where i'm like needing to walk in purpose and started doing so and so i was so focused on that and not really focused on trying to meet a man or trying to be with anybody really i mean after going through everything that i've gone through so then after my 30th birthday party um, the next encounter we had was my best friend um, had a condo that was down the street from my house that she wanted us to show, uh, do, do the walkthrough for her tenants. Actually, that was not the one, right? That was not? No, no, the next one was their engagement. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yes! That is so true! Yeah, the next yes. one was the engagement. The next encounter, you want to tell this one? Yeah, nice I mean, but it wasn't, it wasn't it anything was, major, right? It was not I mean, significant. it's my best friend's uh, engagement. Mm -hmm. So he was in, he lives in, they live in um, California. Mm -hmm. So basically, he wanted to do the proposal here yeah. at, uh, you know, Garfield Conservatory and yeah. the favorite spot. So I was basically running point, yeah, yeah, coordinating. Yeah. And so, yeah, and, you know, she was go, supposed to go to work. You know, yeah. she works very hard that day. She yeah. works nights. Yeah. Uh, so basically, she shows up to the thing as well, too, you know. And that was, like, the next time we saw each other. And yeah. You was know it. what? I, I Now that I'm thinking through everything, the one thing that did always, always stand out to me about him was he was a nice and caring guy. Every time I went to an event where, you know, all of them were there, he would, I think we had a group chat even at, like, the, my, our best friend's engagement and I couldn't find my like I was trying to go and find my car and I couldn't find my car and out of everybody on that group chat you texted in the group chat did I find my car is everything you know did I get in the car okay like yeah that's right, that's right. you know nobody else not even my my best friend didn't even <laughs> She didn't even check to see, but you know, it's her engagement, so yeah. she's probably like yeah, overtaking all yeah, of that. Yeah, just in the headspace, right? Yeah, but he was the only one who checked. Um, and yeah, any just any type of interaction I remember us having, you always you always make sure I get home safe or you you know, like everything was good with me. Um, so that kind of stood out. That was like the first thing that really stood out to me in my head about him. Mm. And so moving on from there. My best friend had this condo. Tenants have already just signed the lease. They needed to do a walkthrough. She sent a message in a group chat between me, her, him, and his best friend, saying who can, who's available to show, do this walkthrough with his tenants. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Initially, he's like, oh, he's not gonna be available, right? Because you had a work meeting. Yeah, I had a work meeting. Had a work yeah. meeting, um, and then, um, so when he said that, then I went in and said, okay, I'll be available. Because I was working at night, so I would be available to, to, to show the place. And then all of a sudden, you become available, right? Yeah. Something happens at work, yeah. and he becomes available. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I'll just bring you the keys since I'm available. Okay, cool. He had the keys on him. Something happened or did something happen? <laughs> Destiny. What is it? Is it destiny? Fate. What do they call it? Fate. fate. Yes, fate. Serendipity. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so he came... To bring me the keys, I remember, till today, you guys, he remembers what I was wearing. I don't even remember what I was wearing. I literally do not remember what I was wearing. He told me, when you came out of your car, you had on this, what did I have on? This headband. You had on your, you know, <laughs> <laughs> silk head tie. Uh, it was like a, a headband type thing you did. Oh Shout on like a Tom Ford gold glasses, <laughs> a favorite thing. Favorite glasses in the world. Literally. Um, you know, if anything happens to those glasses, phew, Lord Jesus. Oh my gosh. But um, yeah, she had that on and she had on like a U, U, U Chicago medicine shirt. This is why I don't remember uh, this, you guys. Her I, favorite flip flops. <laughs> she knows the flip flops. I very, don't yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Then, you know, yeah, he hates some, those flip flops, some, by the joggers. way. That's why he's saying yeah. your favorite. <laughs> So, you know that you know those shoes or those flip-flops <laughs> that you wear everywhere you guys do have one too that one that you're always wearing because it's just so comfortable you think it's look it looks good but it doesn't it does not look good yeah it's don't let him throw shade just Why letting y'all know shade? i'm talking to the people don't be trying I'm to talking throw to the shade. people you i'm talking oh to you my God. that's my favorite flip-flop anyway um, i came out the car 
And I saw him at the door, and I'm like, oh, hey. He's like, I was just going to open the door. And he was like, he opened the door. You opened the door, right? And you were like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, what's up? How are you? Yeah, we hugged each other and said, cool, cool. And then you were like, oh, I'm just going to come up with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to come up with you. And, you know, I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> and I, I didn't even think anything of it. I was like, okay, cool, cool. This will be quick. We'll be done. It's fine. Cool. Yeah. yeah. This was like midday, you know. She she looked really nice. Uh, she looked really nice. Um, I did not. I had on a headband and my glasses. Yeah, she looked really, looked... you know, just looked really chill, you know. There's there's this there's this balancing act that women are able to pull off where there's like midday, but they still look good, you know. For us, we just look, you know, basic. But uh, I was coming from a work meeting, so I don't like a tie and everything. Midday I had like you know, basic. I I, I looked yeah. like a you know like a regular person. Hey, um, like a professional. Hey, come on now, but. Um, yeah, so we come upstairs and we're just like waiting for them to show up. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just chatting, you know, regular conversation. This is the first time we've actually spent time one on one mm -hmm. ever since we've known each other and, you know, through the whole thing. So we're just like chatting and talking about life, really, right? And it was just a fluid conversation. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Very unplanned, nothing's very, just very spontaneous. So the, the, the tenants finally show up and, uh, Wow, you know, it was our lucky day. Do you want to tell why it was our lucky day? Literally, I don't think I've ever seen or experienced tenants like this, y'all. They took two hours to do a walkthrough. They were literally going every <laughs> nook and cranny, going through every... By the way, how many bedrooms is this condo? It's three, two, it's three bedrooms. Three? Three bedrooms and two bathrooms. They went to every nook and cranny sure did. to literally notate on sure their did. notes yeah. what is wrong. It yeah. took them two hours. But it during sure this time, yeah. Yeah. we chatted it up. We just chatted this up and uh, we were just, you know, talking and, you know, we just kept going and going and going. We're like, take your time. It's absolutely okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know, if it's somebody else, you're like, no, please get done and go. But yeah. this was, this was... It was a perfect, it was a perfect moment, and uh, we were able to just like talk about all our interests. And funny enough, we have we share the same interests, things that we like to do, mm -hmm. you know, theater, sports, mm -hmm. life, purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a professor, I was a teacher, so she, you know, there's a lot of things that we had in common, and uh, we just really like vibe very well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was that was great. Yeah, you guys, I was taken aback. I was not expecting to connect to that depth just from a two hour i mean two hour conversation i guess if you had a two hour conversation with someone you 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 would think that you would connect to yeah. that conversation yeah but or we, you're just you're a very good pretender whichever one it and is. he was not pretending i mean he was very nerdy <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> I like ner I happen to find nerds very attractive um, just because they can be very visceral with their thinking um, and we connected on that deep level because we talked we not only just talked about common interests and things like that we delved into life um, we delved into purpose we talked about um, real things you know I, I he knows I hate small talk like small talk I'm just not good at it because I'm an introvert and I hate it and we literally skipped the small talk. Yeah. There was no small talk. It yeah. was just in-depth conversation. And then the thing that really surprised me about him is our mutual interests. Like a lot of things that I liked to do, he liked. The things that I've wanted for the longest to explore, like going to ballets and theater and dance shows and all those things. It's... I hadn't really met a guy who was into those things. So it, I was really taken aback when I discovered that yeah. he was into those things. Yeah. Um, and so after that, the tenants finished or whatever, and then we, yeah. Yeah, we I went. Mean, there's, there's still a whole lot more to the story, right? I mean, I, we can definitely we went off. Definitely talk to the people about what happened next and how it went, the first date and whatnot, in the next video. Oh. And let them know. You want to continue the story in the next video? Okay. Yeah, okay. let's do that then because it's, okay. it, it gets good, even yeah. better. So <laughs> it gets good. Yeah, it gets really, really good. It does. If you guys love what you're seeing and you want to see more content like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when right we have there. a new episode up. Thank you guys so much for watching and cheers to the best and most regalous ever. Ah!